Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and as you can see, John and I have been, John and I, John has been playing around with my camera setup and we did get the, we had to get two curtain rods to put over these doors and the sheer curtains, but before he went and put those up, because we really did not want to put anything up, he put, I have a like white paper background he put over here just to test out to see if that would indeed help us. So I thought I would just jump on here. I was not planning on making a video today and play with some of our new, <laughs> this is what I've had in my bathroom. Just all of these new foundations and everything to try and tell you guys about. And I am partnering with Skillshare for part of this video. You guys know I have worked with Skillshare for months now and any, it doesn't matter what it is, anything I am interested in at the time, I can go on Skillshare, look it up and watch some videos. So this morning I got up really early. I got up at 5.30 like I always do. And I looked up some videos on lighting. And I watched, you know, from the most basic beginner and then there was a lot of them that were a little bit more complicated, you know, for a film and stuff like that. Then I found a, a really good girl who talked about my situation where you have lots of natural lighting, but you really can't depend on it. You can't just film whatever time of day. You can't depend on it. And that is what I'm having to deal with. So for the first thousand people that click on the link below, you can get a free month of Skillshare. And if you don't know, Skillshare is just an online like learning class, kind of like YouTube, but with no ads. And it has like closed caption. I like how you can speed it up a little bit. And like I said, I have used it for doing plants. I have used it for fashion. I have used it for um, self-development. I mean, anything that I am interested in, you can find a class on Skillshare. I encourage you to take this opportunity to join for 30 days for free and see if you like it. Okay, so here we go. This is just day old, day old? Yeah, day old hair from, I washed it night before last. So we're gonna put it back. And I've already washed my face and done all of my skincare. It's probably been about an hour since I've done that. And I have wet my Eco Tools sponge that I like so much. I've got, I purchased this again. I purchased this a long time ago and just never could like it. It's the Stands Out sponge, but I see people use it and they love it. I did what they said. I wet it the first time and then I, I think I've wet it a couple of times. And then now I think I'm supposed to be to the point where I can use it dry. I did notice those who use it, it's usually pretty, which I understand this, it's kind of seasoned, it's kind of dirty. And so maybe that makes it work better. So far, I don't like it as much as this, but I thought I would bring it up here. I've got the new Forever Dior powder. I've got a new Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. I can't decide what foundation you guys would like to see the most. I don't think I've seen a lot on this, this Beauty Blender. Let's do it. I went to Sephora and she helped me. Light number five, Bounce Skin Tint. Always on Radiant Skin Tint. I tell you, I'm radiant enough, but it says 12 hour breathable wear, light, medium, buildable coverage, moisture boosting, hy hyaluronic acid, skin smoothing niacinamide. Shake before use, apply with a damp beauty blender, layering as desired. Okay, so let's use, I did get this, which I think is pretty cool. It's the beauty blender puff, and I'm gonna use that for the powder. And I got my tall mirror. It's this tall and it's over here. So hopefully that will work. And I cannot tell you how happy my plants are. You can't, can you see them back there? Because I had moved that table into my office and there's not as much sun in there direct. So they weren't getting as much sun. I was gonna have to move them. So they are so happy to be back 
in the sunshine. Let's try this Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I've used it one time and I just, to be honest with you, just didn't really notice anything. So there is the consistency. It's kind of like a, I would say gel cream. And I'm gonna put it everywhere. Okay, you will notice, every, I think everyone's like this, but my face gets red as soon as I touch it. Red and splotchy. So, a lot of times, when I first put my makeup on, you may be alarmed that it's not going to match. That does feel good. I can, it does have a velvety, a velvety feel. Let's see what it's supposed to do. Smooth onto moisturized skin with fingertips. Follow with your desired foundation. Let's see, that's just ingredients. Okay, I would assume it's gonna make you look airbrushed. We're shaking this up well. It is like this type of foundation. So I am going to, I think that's about a pump mm -hmm. worth. But the color's good, isn't it? I had a little foundation swatching session last night before I washed my face or after I washed my face. Before I did my skincare, and this one was a winner. Okay, let's just try to go with that. And I did just freshly, you know, wet this sponge, which I don't typically like to do because it shears out your foundation a little bit. But that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And like with my pores on the side of my nose and stuff, I just try to really work it in there. So what do we think? Okay, let's save judgment until I use the concealer. I got a couple of new ones, but this is one I was pretty excited about. It is the Maybelline Superstay 30 Hour. And the color I got is 15. So let's see. Right off the bat, it seems thin. Okay, so let's. Huh. Okay, right off the bat, I would say it's not a lot of coverage. I don't know, that's pretty. It's kind of like it did give a little coverage, but it's so thin. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's just go with that and see. I want to try that powder. Where'd it go? Really cool packaging. I did order, you know, I got the Rare Beauty powder, but I got it in the light medium. I went to go get the light and they didn't have it in stock, so I had to order it. So this is the Dior powder, cushion powder, ultra fine skin refresh loose powder. And I am going to just, oh goodness, <laughs> drop the puff. But I'm going to take the little beauty blender puff. I'm gonna press it in there. And I'm going to close it. I always like to press everything on the back of my hand first, and then I'm gonna set across my nose too. Wow. I'm 
that really did. I'm just using what's left. But I will say that Beauty Blender foundation did really dry down. I, don't, I mean, most of the time, I think most people would set it a little bit, but I don't think you have to. I think I have a new bronzer in the other room. Let me go get it. It's the Huda Beauty. Hold on. Okay, it is the Glowish by Huda Beauty Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder in 02 Medium. This is something else when I was catching up on videos. Wow, that's pretty. That's a cool little package. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to use, hmm, I've got my refer brushes here. I generally like a brush shaped like that, but that one seems a little tight. Like it might pick up too much. Let's go with this one. This is the refer 05, and I'll start off light. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go more in this little dark section. Just kind of do around my hairline. Now I'm going to do my jawline. Like that. I'm going to do my nose. And yeah, there we go. It's not, you know, it isn't like a dangerous bronzer that just, as soon as you put it on, it was one that I had to kind of get into. And that's probably because it swirled like this. So once I did like this, it really got some color. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then the blush, I bought this when I was at Ulta one day. I just saw it and I just thought it was so pretty. It's the L'Oreal True Match Blush. It's like one of those baby cool toned pinks. It's cool, it's got some sparkle. It's really pretty. I hope you can see the sparkles. And the name of it is Baby Blossom. That's sweet. Okay, let's try this brush with Baby Blossom. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so it's not gonna be like a, of course, it's not gonna be like a bam blush, but sometimes these kind of blushes just, I don't know, they highlight your cheeks and just round them out some. So I think that's pretty, especially if you were maybe a little bit more fair than I am, it would probably look even better. Okay, okay guys, I thought we would use this palette it is the Wet n Wild Always Naked, and I've used it one time before, and it has a lot of like dust up, but it looked pretty, and it was it was a good one. It's definitely worth the money, but we're gonna try a new, I don't think I've ever tried a Makeup by Mario lip pencil. I don't think I have. So I grabbed this one, Daniel, Daniel. So, hmm. I like that it's a real pencil. <gasps> okay. I kind of like that. It's kind of like a... It's that color I like. It's kind of like a, almost like Mac Spice, but not as orange. But see, I like how it kind of folds over the lips like that. That is the sign of a good lip liner. The true test will be if it, hmm, I don't even have a lipstick, I don't think. Not a, that's a dark one. thought we would try this gloss that I got. I need a trash can up here. 
but I saw this from Sephora. You know what? I got this gloss from Sephora too. I think this one would be better. This one is a good nude. It's called Yes, Honey. And this one is actually a plumping one. And I on purpose did not get the real light colors that I have so many of. I got this one, which is interesting. It's kind of like a sparkly, it's 08 Outrageous. It's got a plump effect, 08. I don't know if it has a name, but here is the top of it. So I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of like a cool mauve color. Oh, that's pretty. Man, loving those sparkles. That is pretty. Okay. I feel it plumping a little bit. We'll see. Keep an eye on my lips and see if they get bigger. Okay, eyebrow. Did I bring anything up here? Yes, I did. I brought the Hourglass Arch in Blonde. And it's, I've used it one time. It has this type of end, which I'll be honest, isn't my favorite, but it's not that bad. So first I'm gonna brush them up and I wonder if anything I have up here has a mirror on it, this does. Okay, that way I can get close and then you can still see too. Okay, so I just need to usually get this line and then I want to do this line. Like that. Just so you can see it, I'm probably gonna do a little bit more than I typically would. Like that. And this side already, this is my higher brow. So he doesn't need as much assistance. Like that. I feel like I like this better than I did the first time. It might be kind of worked in a little bit. And this is typical for me to come back and kind of fill in up there to make them match. Okay, and I don't think I have a brow gel up here, but that's okay. Let's see, let's go in with the Refer 15 brush, which is just a nice little fluffy brush. And I do have that concealer on my lids, so that should help. Let's start with this little color here. And see if it does anything. Yeah, it does. Kind of starts a crease like that. I'm someone who thinks when I see somebody do that, I just think that's going somewhere. You know, it's, it's, oh, I wish I wasn't like that. I wish I didn't worry about things, but I can't, like right now I'm thinking, okay, I'll clean that up in a minute. <laughs> okay, so now let's go into, let's just skip the, let's just go right into this one. I could go one shade darker and then keep on, but I want to go right into Gusto. I want to go into this one and kind of. Do my typical outer V. Like that. I mean, that is a pretty shadow to be wet and wild. Gonna bring it up a little bit like that. Now, Refer has the best, like, unique little brushes like this. This is the 03 brushes you didn't know you needed. 
like this. And then join up. Take that color again. Join up. Okay, I'm going to take this little brush and how far do we want to go here? I don't think I used this one last time. So let's put our little brush right here in that. Okay, that doesn't have quite as much pigment because it's not matte. So let's, I got to do it. Of course it does on this side. That's weird. Did I go into a different color? I think I did. I went into a different color. I went into that one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now we'll have to go into this one. I was just going to try to make them even, but it won't matter really. It's another one of my hang ups. Okay, so we're going to go across like that. Okay, now I want one that's small, but not that small. More like a... I've got a lot of brushes I'm going to bring up here, but this is this was like a spur of the moment thing here. I kind of want to do something on this outer edge that's kind of in between those two. So let's go into, let's see what this color does. It's got a little bit of um, shimmer to it. Okay. I always feel like my lids are already so big that I don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my original fluffy brush. And this eyelid, see how this one's bigger than that? Deep, deep, more deeper set or bigger or whatever. Sometimes I go in here and just kind of calm that down. And I'm gonna go in here and kind of calm that down too. Like that, yay. And then here's an even smaller refer brush, number 23. So I am gonna go in just with the lightest cream color first and see what that does. Mm -mm. This is probably like a, a liner brush. But I kinda of like it. Okay, and then I'm going to get some more. I like this little color here. I don't normally do that, but I'm just kind of doing the most today because I'm feeling kind of froggy. Okay. Do I care that that... Let me put... Let's have some fun with some glitter. I always see people do this with their finger. Now, I used this glitter the first time. And I have to say, I did not use like any type of sticky base or anything. So it did like flake off and I felt like it was in my eyes. So I'm not going to go there today. But let's go here and see what happens. Wow. That's pretty. It's a good little glisten. So let's see. Oh my gosh. That's even better. Look at how beautiful that is. Wow. I don't think I tried this last time. This is something you could put over anything. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is a good one. Goodness gracious, that really surprised me. Okay, I did bring up some towels so I could wipe off my hands. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do with the shadow. Now, let's have fun with some, I'm going to say fun, but let's have some laughs with some magnetic lashes. First time I have ever used them. I got the, let's do these, let's do these. This might be easier. And this will be something I think everybody can do. I got these at Ulta, I think yesterday. Pro Magnetic Lash Eyeliner with the Faux Mink Accent Lashes. So, it's like a kit that has both of it in there. And 
should be easy to do. Okay, the only thing is, I don't think I brought up a daggone. Great. The YSL. This is a good mascara and it gets great reviews. So I thought to myself, don't knock it till you try it again. See, it's kind of um, clumpy. But it works good. Oh, snap. I gotta do my eyeliner first. Oh no. Don't hold it against me or the or the lashes. If this doesn't back on it, this doesn't work. Okay, this is something I'm not good at. Opening boxes, I have no patience. None. Okay. We could read the directions, but that's not my big strong point either. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a little struggle here. Because I messed up and did a little bit of that, but. See how it's going on my lashes. It is black. Okay. I gotta be careful though, because I know that this is just a an accent lash. Ooh. I did get a pair too that I'll try on Monday. Um, their magnetic lash is a different brand and theirs comes with a pin. See how you can do it just a little bit at a time. Don't worry about doing a big swoop the whole way across your lashes. Isn't that amazing with wing liner? Oh my gosh. The best. Okay. Of course, I like that one better because I did it different. But, and then this one, it needs to be a little bit more rounded right here. Like that. Okay, so two big thumbs up for that far as working well. Now let's hurry up and get back to this mascara. It's probably going to be clumpy now, but that's okay. I will definitely say that it dries quick. Okay. Who do you guys enjoy watching on YouTube as far as makeup goes? I, um, I'm trying to, you know, I like to find new people because new people have new techniques, new opinions, new favorites. Okay. I think I did my liner really thick because I'm kind of a little freaked out about it. The magnets, I've never used that before. So I guess in the back of my mind, I'm thinking I need a lot for it to stick on. So that, that's good. It, I mean, it is what it is. It's a, it's to use with when you want thick. Okay. Haven't, I don't think I've brought tweezers up here yet. Okay, so if you don't have tweezers, you're supposed to do this and just kind of roll it off, which it actually worked. And this has, you know what, I need tweezers though. This will be a miracle if I can do this without tweezers. Let's, it's a true test. It's sticking.
that I have to admit that is cool that is cool you can see if you want see I always raise mine a little bit okay let's let's put them in even a little bit more Do y'all hear sassy? I shut the door because, that's better, the uh, washing machine's going. Hello, ma'am. And then she ran away. Oh my gosh. You guys. Okay, we'll put them further in. Like I did that one. That is cool. Let me look real close and make sure. Okay. This is the refer. 29 and it's this cool like little liner brush and we'll use it in place of tweezers so good did we do it uh, did we do it Let's do a test outfit of the day this is a casual Saturday outfit. It is an Aritzia bodysuit. I kind of had ordered a lot of bodysuits to do a video on which ones I thought were the best. And I think I'm still hanging with the Zara, you know? But this one is from Aritzia. And these pants are from Victoria's Secret. I love a wide leg sweatpant like this. And I've just got on my Uggs right now. They're just like my house shoes. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for experiencing this stuff with me. This is what I've wanted to do the whole time, is to try it with you. It's just so much more fun. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And don't forget to check out the link below. The first 1,000 people will get one month for free, and it's really fun. Whatever you're into, you can find a class where they're talking about it. I don't have any accessories on. I haven't put anything on. I don't even know if I'll go anywhere today. I told Bubba he better be ready for a nap because on the weekends, I just look, even if I don't go to sleep, I like laying on the couch with Bubba. So thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.